Hi and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson we're going to do a surface calculator. In this example we will enable the user to select either a rectangle, a triangle or a circle. After that the user will input some data, in the case of the rectangle a height and a width, in the case of the triangle a height and a base and in the circle case a radius. With that data we will then determine the surface of that given shape. For each shape we will write a function that will determine the surface of that shape. We will employ a, a menu driven system where the user will be able to select one of the shapes and then determine the surface for him or her. So let's jump into the code and see how we will do this. So first of all we've got our basic C programming structure. Our in main void return zero structure. So we save this, we build and run and see that everything is okay before we continue. So everything compiled and we know that everything is good. So let's continue first of all we need to define some variables we need to have a choice variable int choice now inside this int choice variable we will store the choice of the user and this choice will either be one for a rectangle two for a triangle and three for a circle we're going to initialize it to zero just for the beginning then this needs to be a menu driven program so we want to repeat this and again and again until the user decides to exit the code so we will employ a do while a do while looping structure to repeat this now the reason why we are using a do while statement is because a do while always repeats itself once and that's nice for a menu driven approach because we need to display the menu at least once to the user so press one for a rectangle two for a triangle three for a circle and then four to exit so if choice is unequal to 4 we need to repeat this again and again okay so 4 to exit so now we need to quickly give some displays to our user we're going to say welcome to surface calculator cal calculator later okay then we're going to say print if and we're going to have a few of these let's just do this i'm going to copy and paste this because i'm going to have a few of these oops so I press one for rectangle press two for triangle press three for circle and press four for exit and then lastly i'm going to ask the user for a choice okay after each one we need a new line just to make everything nice and neat and then after this display we can get some input from the user. So we use a scan if statement to get the input. We say percentage d ampersand the choice variable. So the choice variable is there. We can double click on it and see that it's spelled correctly. And then we know that we can continue. Okay, so now we've got one two three and four 
And now it's quite easy, ladies and gentlemen. We can now use a switch case to say if if the choice if the choice okay is case okay, so it's a one we need to do something oh, I'm just gonna do my indentation there I like to do it in this manner okay so in case it's a one in case it's a two three four two three and four so if it's a four we can tell the user something like thanks for using the app okay okay then what's quite nice is we can also use the default fun functionality of the switch to tell the user that a in invalid input was added into the program so we don't want invalid input so we can use the default functionality to check for invalid input so when it's a one when it's a two and when it's a three we can then go and determine what is this specific surface so how would we do this so we can call now for each case a function just to illustrate the use of functions and to make it nice and readable so first of all it's going to be a rectangle function rectangle function and this function is going to give us the surface of a rectangle so we can use a printf statement and do everything in line and we can say the surface or let's say the rectangle surface is percentage d comma let's zoom out a little bit we can select this function there okay so this function will then send the surface of a rectangle back to us and we can do the same for each one of these cases so we can say then here for triangle okay and for the same for circle we're gonna do the input and the output of this um, of each shape the input and the output of the variables concerning the dimensions of this um, shapes we're going to do inside the functions so we don't have to do them in the switch case so the triangle surface and the circle surface yes Okay, just a quick check. Circle, how do we determine the surface of a circle? How do we do that? And it's quite easy. It's pi radius square. So the value of pi is 3.14. 
Now my question is 3.14 is a floating value. So do we really want to go and display a decimal? No, we want to go and display a floating value. And that's also the same for the surface of a triangle. Because the surface of a triangle is half of the height times the base. Okay, so maybe that's also a floating value. Okay, and we're going to assume that our input is only going to be integer values. Great, so now we can continue. So after we have now our full program, let's zoom out for a quick moment and just recap what's going on. We've got an in-choice variable. We've got our display to the user. We've got a switch case that will determine what's going on. And then we've got this functions. This function will send back a integer value for us and we're going to display that. Triangle will send back a floating value and we're going to display that. The same for circle. Now we need to go and write these functions. So we can go above the main function. This is just good programming practice. We're going to go and define function row types. This is not necessary, but nice to do and very functional and it makes your code much more readable because then you list all the functions that you have in your C file. Okay. So the first function is going to be a int rectangle function. Okay, the next one is going to be a float float triangle function and a float circle function. Okay, so rectangle triangle and circle there we have it rectangle triangle and circle so after our function prototypes is defined we can go at the bottom after the main function we can go and write our oops we can go and write our functions Yes. Okay. Rectangle function. What do we need for the surface of a rectangle? So we need to ask the user for what? The height. Yes. And we need to ask the user for width. Okay. And if we have the height and the width, we need to have an int height and width variables. Okay, so we can use a scan if to go and retrieve that values. I'm going to say the height, and we can say scan if. Percentage D and percent the width. Okay, so height and width. Oops, there's a spelling mistake. Okay, so after we have the height and the width, it's quite easy. We can just return this back to the user. We can say height times width. There we have it. It's going to return this calculation back to the user. Now we can repeat this for the triangle. Now the triangle has also two inputs. They are just a little bit different in the sense that we call them height and base. So we can just change width to the base and we can say height and base height and the base and we can go and return the calculation of the height times the base ok 
okay right times the base divided by 2.0 i'm just making 2.0 to force force this to a floating value so height times base divided by 2 so half base times height and then the circle you can do the same for the circle circle oh radius sorry radius we can ask the user to put the radius radius scan if that value is so percentage d ampersand radius great and then we can go and return the surface of a circle and the surface of a circle is pi that is 3.14 times radius square so that's radius times radius great we can save this then we know that we have got our three functions they are all both or all three of them returns the actual answer and now we can go and double check that everything works so let's hope that there's no Typing errors, doesn't seem that way. First of all, it's going to say, Welcome to Surface Calculator, 1 for rectangle, 2 for triangle, 3 for circle, 4 to exit. So before we continue with to check our rectangle, triangle and circle, let's quickly check for invalid input. So it says invalid input, double more, exclamation mark, triple, then welcome to Surface Calculator. So there's one small little hitch there, because we want a new line. Okay, so I'm going to terminate this. I'm just going to add a double new line there so that we know that everything looks nice and neat. So, first of all, we're going to check for invalid input. It says invalid input for 5, something smaller than 0, invalid input. 4 for exit. Thank you for using the app. Then it closes the application. Okay, so now, now we know that our invalid input works and the exit works now we can go and check if the rectangle calculation works so height times so the height is 5 let's say for instance and the width is 4 so the rectangle surface is 20 rectangle surface is 20 5 times 4 gives you 20 yes you can check the triangle so let's say the height is 5 and the base is 4 that gives us a triangle surface of 10 so 5 times 4 gives us 20 divided by 2 gives us 10 and that's also correct then we can go and check the circle and if the radius is 5 5 square is 78.5 okay so we need to quickly check with a calculator just to determine this so we can say the radius is 5 times 5 times 3.14 is equal to 78.5 and there we have it we know that everything is correct and then we can exit thank you for using the app ladies and gentlemen that's how we would write a menu driven surface calculator i hope this was helpful thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon